In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can use the find and replace utility in Excel to find cells that have specific formatting applied and replace it with other formatting. And again, this is a really useful time saving hack if you've got a lot of data and you just want to replace the formatting on the worksheet or even in the entire workbook. Now the find and replace utility can be used for many things, not just replacing formatting. We can also replace values and text and many other things. But in this context, we're going to take a look at it specifically for replacing formatting. Now you're going to find the find and replace utility on the home ribbon in the editing group. Notice we have a find and select option. And when we click it, we get a drop down where we can find find and replace. Now, personally, this is one of those utilities that I prefer to use the keyboard shortcut to access. I just find it a lot quicker. So if you want to quickly jump into find, you can press control F. That's going to bring up find and replace. But notice that this has two tabs, find and then replace. So if you want to go directly to the replace tab, what you can do is press the keyboard shortcut control H basically brings up the same dialog box, but you get taken to the tab that you need. Now, when you first open up replace, it's going to look like this. Now, this is fine if you just wanted to replace some text. So maybe I wanted to replace the word shipped with sent. I could do that from here. I could say replace all and you can see what that's done in the data set. Wherever it finds the word shipped, it's now replaced it with sent. That is a very basic text based replace. But what if we want to replace the formatting? So maybe where we have pending highlighted in gray, maybe I want that to be a completely different color. Well, this is where we need to open up the options. Now, when we open up options, we get exactly that more options that we can set as our criteria. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to remove the text from find what and replace with because we don't want to find that criteria again. This time we want to find the formatting. So notice next to find what all the way over on the right hand side, we have a format button just here. And if we click the drop down, we can choose format or choose format from cell. So if you have a cell in the spreadsheet that contains exactly, then you could use this second option. So let's go for choose format from cell. Notice that that box disappears and our cursor changes to a little eyedropper. Now I'm looking for everything that has a gray background. So I'm going to select any of these cells. So let's go for this one just here. Notice that the preview updates with what we're looking for. And then we can choose what we want to replace it with. So if I click the format drop down again, this time I'm going to go into format. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. So this is going to open up another dialog box and it's going to jump me to the fill tab. So maybe instead of having a gray background fill, I want a light green background fill. I could even add in more options. So if I go to font, maybe I want it to be in light green, but also have bold font. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to click on OK. I can now see what I'm finding and what I'm replacing it with, and then I can set the scope. So if I just want to find and replace on this worksheet that I'm currently on, I could choose sheet. But if I wanted to replace the gray background fill across the entire workbook, I could choose workbook from this drop down. Now we're going to keep ours on sheet. We also get to choose if we want to search by row or by column. Now I have my formatting running across rows, so I'm fine with it searching across the rows. The last option here, it's also going to look in cells that contain formulas. So I'm going to click the replace all button and check out what happens. It's made 20 replacements. Now notice something a little bit curious. If we click on OK and close this down, you can see that it's worked for some of the cells in the row, but not for all of them. And that's because for these two cells, price per unit and total, we have different formatting applied. We have 
currency formatting. And because I chose to find just formatting that had a gray background fill, it hasn't found these because we have slightly different formatting applied. So how could I get around this? Well, if we go to control H again, if I was to then say find what, choose format from cell and select one of these cells and replace it with green, let's do replace all, check it out. Let's click on close and you can see that it's now found those. So you do have to be a little bit careful when using the choose from cells option. Now, if you do have a data set that has lots of different formats supplied to different columns, then sometimes it's worth removing the formatting, doing your find and replace, and then reapplying the formatting. For example, with these two columns just here, I might decide to select them and let's just give them general formatting so we don't have any specific number formatting applied. So now if we do control H, we can say find what? So let's go choose format from cell. I'm gonna choose this blue one just here and we're going to replace it with, let's go for a purple background fill and let's also make that bold as well and click on OK. So now when we do replace all, it's made 35 replacements and you can see that we have exactly what we're looking for. So because we changed that formatting just to general, the find and replace has now worked. And we can then just go back in, control shift down arrow and apply whatever formatting we want. So sometimes that is a quicker method. Remove the formatting first of all, so it's all fairly standard, then find and replace the background fill color and then reapply the formatting. I'll leave that up to you to have a little play around with, but that's how you can utilize the find and replace utility to replace formatting in your data sets. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.